This is a tutorial four for Magic Hue PC. Now before we go any further as far as actually programming in some lights, patching them and, and recording some cues, I need to explain a little bit about Magic Hue PC and the windows and how they work. You can bring windows up in any style that you would like. What I'm showing you here is a pre-programmed layout that they did by pressing the layout one button. It will bring up this particular window which shows some groups, some positions, some beams, and some colors. And generally this is called palettes. But you can open up other windows by clicking up here. So now I've op opened up a program window. Now I've opened up a patch window. And again, notice that the soft keys around the edges change as you do that. Now I've opened up a media window. Now what you have to be uh, aware of though is I've just been opening these windows on top of one another. So if I close my media window, there's my patch window. If I close that, there's my program window. Now I'm back to my layout one and I can close these one at a time too. So I've got back to just a blank screen back there. So generally we're going to open windows and save some setups for the way that we would like a window to uh, work as we're going through the program. So uh, for example, one of the first things we're going to do is patch some lights. So I'm going to click patch and there's my patch window. Now I can save this way at layout so that with, I can either click here or I can have a quick way of selecting that. And the way to save that is simply do this. Click on the record key, hold down your control key on your keyboard. Palettes has already been saved to this position. I'm going to save it here and it's going to say layout too. Release my control key. So anytime I want to go to this patch window, I can hold down my control, click on layout two and it'll go there. If I want to go to my palettes window, can hold down control and click there. So I can jump back and forth between the different layouts. I could also use layout one and layout two down here. But we'll be able to develop several different layouts that we can access quickly. And I just generally hold down my control click key and access them. Now, we'll probably want to relabel that so it doesn't say layout two. We're going to call it patch. So the way that you relabel that is you simply uh, click down here the set key. Now notice my command line illuminates down here. I'm going to start typing something. I'm going to type patch, P-A-T-C-H, and you'll see that appear in the command line. Now hold down my control and click up here. That's going to be a format that we'll be using over and over to label things in Magic UPC. Click set, type your description or whatever it is, then click on the item where you'd like to, that description to fall in place. So now it still says layout two down here for patch, but it makes more sense up here, palette, and then patch, and we can jump to that window. As far as positioning windows too, we can do, we can position windows the way that we want them to. So they have a new method here, so we can have that patch be full, or we can have it top and bottom, left and right. Um, I'm gonna get out of this window here an easy way to assign where you want this window to appear is go to view and max would be full screen top would mean the patch window would just be up here then I can place another window down the bottom uh, bottom I could have it be on the left so patch could be over here and I could have another window over here I could have it be on the right I could have to be a quarter view it could be just the top left so if you remember with the uh, palette screen, we had one, two, three, four windows open simultaneously. So that's the easiest way to do that is I would select, simply select my current window. And when you have a window selected, it will have that blue bar on it. And then you view and decide where I want that to be. For right now, I'm just going to leave that as a max. So that'll be our patch window. And as we go along here, I'll show you how to create some different views and save them. Um, that's just about all you need to know as far as windows are concerned.